1. The period of oscillation T second of a pendulum with length of LCM is given by this one. So we have T which is equal to 2 pi third L over 10. Find the approximate change in T when L increase from this one to this one. So approximate change, so which is one is delta T. So L increases from this one to this one, so it's given that delta L is equal to 9.05 minus 9. So this one, the new value minus the previous value, we get 0 0.05. So how to do this? So you see here you have delta, right? So from T, we can get dt over dl, right? dt over delta L. So here we know that delta T divided by delta L is equal to dt over dl. See here? Delta T over delta L is equal to dT over dL. So we wanted to find delta T, right? So delta T, we can bring this one to the other side. So delta T is equal to dT over dL times delta L. So we have to find this one since this one is given. So here T is equal to 2 pi. So L over 10, right? So here T is equal to 2 pi. So L over 10. So this one. We want to differentiate L. So we must take L out. This one is half. This one is 10. Half. So we multiply both by half. We, we take out the power. So this one we get 2 pi over 10 times L power of half. So dt over dL is equal to. So we bring forward half times 2 pi over 10. So just write it, never mind, 2 pi over 10 L. And then half, half, minus, half minus 1, we get negative half. So this one can be cancelled out. So now we have pi over 10. So this one, power of negative, negative half, we can bring it down. See here? So now we have pi over 10 L because set and set can be combined. So this one is dt over dl. So we know that this one, so we take from from 9 cm. So this one when L is equal to 9 cm, dt over dl is equal to so you just substitute pi divided by set 10 9. So here This one is pi over set 90. So here delta T is equal to dt over dl. So dt over dl. So this one we must substitute with value. So just now dt over dl. We have L right here. So we substitute the value of L we take from. So now we have pi over set 90 times 0 0.05 because this one is delta L. So this one delta T is equal to pi over set 90 times 5 over 100. So here basically you get 5 pi divided by this one. But you see here you have set 90 right. So you can take out, you can take out 9 right and 10. And this one you have 100. So basically, this one you get 5 pi. So this one is 3, so 10, 100. So 5 and 100 you can cancel out. So here you have pi over, so this one 3 times 20 is 60, so 10. Second. So you can see that from your textbook, the answer is pi set 10 over 600. You can just leave it like this because this one is actually the same with this one. Let me show you how I transform this one. So this one is pi over 60 set 10. So we want to remove set from this one. So we multiply set 10 over set 10. So here we get set 10 times pi divided by this one we get 60 set 10 square
So here we get pi set 10. So this one we have 60 set 10 square. So this one we have pi set 10 divided by 60 times set 10 square. Set and this one can be removed. So we have pi over over 600. So this one and this one is actually the same thing. Okay. Okay. Two, the area of a drop of oil which spread in, out in a circle increases from this one to this one. So we have a circle. So it's talking about area. We can see centimeter square, centimeter square. So area is equal to pi r square. So we can see that this one is the old area. After that, after it increases, this one is the new area. So we know that this one a is equal to pi r square and it's given that this one is 4 pi. So area is also equal to 4 pi which is equal to pi r square. So r square is equal to 4. So r is equal to 2. So we know that the radius of the circle is 2. It must be larger than 0 because this one is, we are talking about length here, right? So r is equal to 2. Okay. So we see here increases from this one to this one so we know that this one is the new a so area new new area is equal to old area plus the change in y because y plus the change in area right new area is equal to old area plus change in area so we know here that from the formula a and r so we know that r a is a change respect to R. So we know that dA over dR is equal to delta A over delta R. Or also delta A over delta R is equal to dA over dR. The same thing. So here delta A is equal to, we bring to the other side, dA over dR times delta R. So here A new, area new is 4.01 pi area old is 4 pi plus delta area so delta area is equal to 4.01 pi minus 4 pi so here we get 0 0.01 pi so this one is delta a So we wanted to find delta R, right? So we need to have what is delta A. So we have delta A already and we need to have what is our delta A divided by delta R. So A is equal to pi R square. DA over DR is equal to 2 pi R. And we know that at this moment, you see here the old one, R is equal to 2. So when R is equal to 2, DA over DR is equal to 2 pi 2 which is equal to 4 so now we have delta A and we have dA over dR. So here delta A is equal to dA over dR times delta R, right? So delta R is equal to, we bring to the other side, which is delta A divided by dA over dR. Delta A is 0 0.01 pi. dA over dR is for pi so we can eliminate pi so 0 0.01 divided by 4 we get 0 0.0025 so the unit is in cm